Hello everybody, welcome back to the RC Garage. Today, we're back working on the scale tool cart, trying to get it cleaned up and ready for paint. Get some of these gaps filled, get some of these edges smoothed down. Alright, before we get started on this, I'd like to thank y'all for all the support you've been showing the channel. It really means a lot to me. Alright, let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is just try to trim down some of these edges that are sticking up. Some of them aren't even glued down completely. So we'll have to fix that before we do anything. Alright, and we're back. Everything's glued up good and solid now. Let's get to the trimming. tree wherever they work really good because they're nice and stiff and you can get a lot of fine control with it we'll go around and clean up all the edges try to get everything smoothed out then we'll fill these gaps gaps especially with this medium because it is a little thinner is I like to take a little bit of the instant set stuff and squirt on there first and then apply the glue that way the glue will set before it falls down into the gap and you apply it hit a little bit more of the instant set there you have one gap filled. I'm going to go ahead and fill all these gaps up and I'll bring y'all back for the next step. field. Now one drawback to using the super glue is the glue does dry really hard so it's not going to sand the same, it's not going to cut the same as the styrene will. But like I said this isn't really going to be a showpiece, it's more of a backdrop. It's not going to be in the focus so you're not going to notice it that much. But now we'll get on to final sanding, get it cleaned up, and get it ready for paint.
Shutterstock Music. Now we're going to move on to putting some wheels on it. These will roll, but they're not going to be completely functional. All they'll do is roll back and forth. It's mainly, like I said, it's, this is all just for looks. Now if you were wanting to build something that's a little more show quality, a little more of a shelf queen item, you won't want to use the super glue. What you can do, an easy way you can do it, is all your scrap styrene and little shavings and everything like this, your small shavings. You can get you a little jar, dump those into it, and put a little acetone, or even if you want to waste some of your plastic uh, solvent cement, you can pour that in there, just a little bit, just enough to dissolve this down to paste. Then you can use that to smear into your gaps. And then it'll dry just like the styrene does and be formed with the styrene and it'll paint the same, it'll shave the same, it'll sand the same. But like I said, this is just for a backdrop. It's nothing special. It's just something I can throw together. I'm going to throw these little tiny wheels on it. I don't know if you can see it. And they're off of the little Tech Deck mini skateboards. We're just going to screw those right onto the side of the cart here. I need to do a little customize on these wheels because the smallest screws I have are only two millimeter and they won't fit through the wheel. Alright guys, well I'm going to get these holes drilled. I'll bring you back when we're putting them on the cart. Alright, we got all the holes drilled. I made a little change. I was messing around with it. Decided to go with two millimeter bolts with nuts on the back instead of just the screws. That way if I need to take the wheels off, I can easily do it. Plus I don't have to worry about the threads stripping out in the plastic because this is pretty thin so the threads won't be that strong. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the wheels on now. Shutterstock Music. Shutterstock Music. I got all the wheels on. It does roll. But that's about it. It's on functionality. It's not real pretty right now. We'll get it cleaned up. We'll add a few more detail pieces to it before we paint it. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, then let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more, then please subscribe. And join me back here next Tuesday when we clean this up, add the detail pieces, and get it ready for paint. See you guys next time.